sure to check out Webull. Right now you can get up to 12 free stocks valued up to $32,000 by using my link in the description below. Webull is a commission-free online trading platform that allows you to invest in stocks, options, and crypto. So go ahead and check out Webull, guys. I'll put a link to them in the description below. Now, for today's video, I'm gonna be using the Webull desktop app. So all you need to do to get the app is you go to webull.com, then you can come over here to this download tab, click on it, and here you can go ahead and download the Webull desktop app completely free, guys. So let's head on over to the Webull desktop app now. And again, let's talk about how we can short a stock on Webull. Now, number one, guys, shorting a stock is extremely risky. This should only be done by more experienced traders, more advanced traders. Again, shorting a stock is extremely risky. Number two, for you to be able to short a stock on Webull, you're going to have to, number one, have a margin account. So again, if you have a cash account, you're going to have to switch to a margin account. Again, this process does take a few weeks. So you should start now if you do plan on you know, wanting to short a stock. Number two, your margin equity must be greater than or equal to $2,000. Now, for those of you that are not familiar with shorting a stock, what is shorting? So basically when you short a stock, what you're doing is you're borrowing shares that aren't yours. You basically are selling them immediately to the market because you're hoping that the stock will drop in price right after you sell and that you'll be able to buy back those shares at a lower price in the future and then return them back to whoever borrowed them to you. So basically it's a bearish strategy where again, you sell the shares right away, you hope the price of the, the shares go down, you buy them back at a cheaper price and then you return them again to the borrower. So again, it's extremely risky because it basically has potential unlimited upside risk because let's say you go ahead and you sell 100 shares of Tesla that aren't yours. And then all of a sudden Tesla goes up, you know, 300, 500%. Now this is just an exaggeration, but let's say it goes up 300, 500%. Well, now you have to go and buy back a hundred shares to return them back to the borrower. And Tesla's share price now might be, you know, four or five times what it was. So now you have to spend a lot of money to buy back those 100 shares, way more than you received for selling them. And so all of a sudden, you know, you're down, who knows, right? 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars. So again, it can be extremely risky. Again, this should only be done by more experienced traders. So with that being said, let's actually talk about how you short a stock here on Webull. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to go over to the stocks tab. So on the left here, go to the stocks tab. So first thing you want to do here is search for whatever stock it is that you want to short. Let's say we want to short Workhorse. So we're gonna go over to WKHS. Again, this is just an example that I'm showing you here, guys. I'm not actually gonna short Workhorse here, but let's say Workhorse was the stock that you wanted to short. So the first thing you wanna do here when you come to the stock, you wanna make sure that you see this symbol up here. This kind of like looks like a blue arrow pointing downwards. If you see this blue symbol up here, it lets us know that we can actually short this stock. Keep in mind there's stocks on here that you can't short. Uh, so if you see this symbol here, it means we can short it. Sometimes it'll be like a yellow symbol that says HTB, that stands for hard to borrow. That also means that you can short it. However, it's gonna be harder to be able to short that stock and there's gonna be a fee on that stock and I'll talk about that here. But again, as you guys can see here, we see the symbol here. We know right away, okay, this is a stock that I can short. So where do we go to actually short the stock? So what you wanna do next is you wanna to go to the trade tab. So here's the trade tab here, so let's click on it. So if we scroll up here, this gives us three options, right? We can buy shares, we can sell shares. So if you already bought and you wanna sell your shares, you can do that. Or as you guys can see, we can also short some shares. So we can short the stock here. So that's where we would go. We would go ahead and click on short here. Now let's take a look here. So order type, we have limit. Again, that gives us control as to you know what price we wanna try and you know sell short the stock at. Quantity, of course, is how many shares, right? Let's say we wanted to short 10 shares here of Workhorse at 265, 
right? Again, you can obviously modify this limit price how you, you know, however you want it to. Uh, and then down here, we have a stop loss. So stop loss, right, means that you can go ahead and add a stop loss, which I would highly recommend. Because again, if you short the stock and workhorse for whatever reason explodes, you know, 1000%, you're going to be, you know, losing a lot of money all of a sudden. So I think, you know, it's a very good idea to add a stop loss here. Uh, and then, of course, you can also do a take profit here as well, which, again, I've talked about both of these in the past, uh, but I'm not going to go into those in this video here. So once you've done that, right, you can come down here and you can click on short workhorse. Now, like I mentioned, right, there's some stocks that are harder to short. Now, if we take a look here at workhorse. This is one of those stocks and we can actually see this down here. So it's saying you are short selling 10 shares of workhorse. Workhorse is not labeled as easy to borrow, right? So it's a hard to borrow stock. So you will be charged margin interest on this short sale of executed. Please be aware that the margin interest rate is 1.36% and may vary widely depending on the volatility and availability of the stock. So this borrow fee rate, right, is always going to be changing here. It can definitely vary. It's going to be different from stock to stock. You know, sometimes this can be extremely high, like 40%, 50%, 60%. So always, you know, when you see this borrow fee rate, you have to calculate, you know, how much is it actually, you know, how much is the rate actually going to be? So let's actually go ahead and, you know, let me demonstrate to you guys how you would calculate this. So, so what you want to do is let's go over to a calculator here very quickly. So let's go to a calculator here, right here. So you want to do here to calculate this is you want to go ahead and first you want to take 1.02. So this is the current in this industry convention. Okay, so you're going to take 1.02 and you're going to multiply this by the closing, the, the previous closing price of the stock. Now, I don't know what it closed at. Uh, previously, what workers closed at, let's say it closed at like $3, right? So we would take 1.02 times the closing price. Let's just say it was $3 and we're going to get 306. Okay, we're going to get 306. Now, this is going to be our per share collateral. So what you want to do here is you want to round this up. You need to round this up to the nearest dollar. So if we round this up, it's gonna take us to $4. So basically, again, our per share collateral is gonna be $4 if we round this up to the nearest dollar. So now after you get that number, right, you wanna take that number, which would be $4, you multiply that by the share quantity. So let's say I wanna short 10 shares. So I would go ahead and take four times 10. And this is going to get me give me my trade value. So that's gonna be $40. Now I want to take this number, multiply it by the borrow fee rate, which again, as you guys saw, was 1.36, right? So 1.36. Again, I want to take this number now, multiply it by 1.36. So we need to convert that to a decimal. So it's going to be 0 0.0136. So we get this right here, 0.44. So this is going to, going to be our annual fee rate. Okay, this is the annual fee rate right here. Now, if we want to get the daily borrow fee rate, we need to divide this by 360. So we're going to divide that by 360, which is approximately the number of trading days in a year. And so we go ahead and divide that. And this is basically what we're going to get, not even one cent. Right. So again, it's, you know, it's not that it, this is how much you would pay basically as a fee every single day for having to borrow these shares. So again, this is not really high. However, again, like I mentioned, right, there are going to be situations where this borrow fee rate will be 30, 50, 80 percent. And let's say you're shorting like a thousand shares, then it can definitely add up. Right. It could be five dollars a day, ten dollars a day. It could definitely add up. In this particular example that I'm showing you, it wouldn't be that high. Now you would go ahead, you would check this, uh, you know, this down here. So let's see what this says. This order of executed will result in a short position of 10 shares. The current borrow fee rate is 1.36%, will vary widely depending on the volatility and scarcity of shares of the stock. Please be aware that short selling securities is subject to high market risk, uh, like I've mentioned, right? So uh, yeah, you would go ahead, you would click on this and you would short. Now I'm not actually gonna short 10 shares, but I will short one share 
just so that I can show you guys how you would close out of this, right? So let's say you calculated your fee, you have it all you know, ready to go, you go ahead and short it, you click this checkbox. So you're ready now, so you would go ahead, submit your order, you would short it, right? So I just put that in here, and let's take a look that, you know, see if it fills here. So if we look here, we can actually see at our orders, so it's currently working here. And, you know, if you wanna modify this, you can. So hopefully this fills here. If not, I can just modify it. Uh, so I might need to modify here just so that we can get in quicker. So let's just change, let's just change this to like I don't know. Let's just say like 2.64 or something. So I'll modify that, short it. Okay. So as you can see, it filled almost instantly. So if I go back to my positions, now it shows me here right that I have <clears throat> one share here of Workhorse that I am shorting estimated borrow fee rate of 1.36%, right? There's a minus one here indicating that, you know, I'm shorting this, I'm shorting one share, and then the market value. So now let's say, okay, I wanna close out of this, right? Hopefully the price of the stock has dropped. You're able to buy it for, you know, uh, you're able to buy it back for, you know, a, a cheaper amount. Uh, so how do you close out of this? So you could potentially just come in here, you know, go to close position, and close it or basically what you need to do right when you when you short a stock you want to buy it back you want to buy those shares back so you can return them so you could basically just come in here to your trade and you just want to buy however many shares you shorted to close out of the position so since i shorted one stock if i wanted to close out of it i just need to buy that share back and return it so all i would need to do is i would need to buy one share here so i would come in here and I would go ahead and buy one share of Workhorse. So I'd go ahead and buy it. And then as you guys can see, right, it's already gone because it already got filled, right? So when you short a stock, you short 10 shares. If you wanna close out of it, you just need to buy those 10 shares back. And that would just be a regular normal buy. So you would go come in here, buy 10 shares. That would close out of it. Again, as you guys saw, right? I shorted one share, I bought it back. Now it's closed out of it. Um, that's how you would close out of your position here. So anyways, that is exactly how you short a stock on Weeble. Again, guys, this is extremely risky. Should only be done by more experienced traders. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Check out the Discord, link to it in the description below. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys next time.